Hi guys, this is JasonAlt.com and I'm here with something very interesting and uh, probably the future. This is a rollable phone from Motorola, a prototype, a concept. If you double press the power button on the side, the screen expands from a 5-inch diagonal to a 6.5-inch diagonal. And if you press it again, you should be able to make the screen smaller again. So the device will be compact and fit in your pocket easily. It has an USB-C port on the side. It has the power button here on the right and the volume buttons. And you can see that the screen continues at the back side and keeps the same wallpaper color as the main wallpaper. There's a dual camera here and I have some use cases for you. So if you go to YouTube and start playing a video, then you tilt the phone, it senses that and expands the screen to get more viewing space for you. This is pretty cool if you ask me. Now, another use case scenario which I actually enjoyed. Imagine that uh, you want to write an email. We go to Gmail here. Okay. And here we go. If you press Compose, the screen once again expands automatically to give you all that screen estate you need. And when you're done, you can double press the side button and it should be done. Now, you're probably wondering where the selfie camera went. There is no cut in the screen. There is no punch hole. So if you go here and if you press this button, the screen descended slightly to reveal both the earpiece and also a selfie camera. However, there's another way to take selfies. Uh, this area here is not pressed, so if you press it, when it becomes blue, you can see yourself here and use the main camera as a selfie camera. There are other scenarios uh, which I found out, so you can actually use the screen to display a pet of sorts. Sadly, for those of you wondering about the you know specs of the device, we don't have them, but it will definitely be a high-end smartphone. A top-level CPU will be inside. I'm expecting stereo speakers, even though I'm not sure where they put the other one. This is definitely one of them. So, yeah, it's a proof of concept, and to me, it feels a bit better done compared to the Oppo One. You can see here expanding. There's a metal plate here keeping things solid. There are no longer those tank tracks, as I like to call them, so, yeah. You just noticed also the razor branding and let's see what happens to the bottom part when I double press this button. So you can see it rolls around and pulls up the screen to expand the diagonal. A pretty interesting mechanism. It would have been nice to get more shortcuts here and more features but I'm pretty sure that if you dig enough into the settings you should be able to find them. At least display, brightness level, lock screen, dark theme, night light, colors. Display refresh rate, which is just 60 hertz, flicker prevention. Uh, it even has ready for, so yeah, productivity is also part of the package. I mean, it's a pretty interesting concept. We don't have specs for it, we don't have much to talk about, but after so many foldables, we definitely require another format to come to the market. So yeah, um, the idea is to have the phone in your pocket when it's small like this, and when you require a proper diagonal, you just double press it and you're done. You get all the screen state you need. Now, fragility may be an issue. You may think that you may bump into this area and curve it or ruin it, but it's a metal plate again. So, yeah, resilience is part of the package. That's it from GSNO.com. First contact with the Motorola rollable prototype concept phone. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back with more soon from Mobile World Congress. Goodbye.